हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand series and parallel combination of circuit elements. Here, first let us understand the parallel combination of circuit elements. Let us take a resistor, inductor, and capacitor. First, let us consider resistor. Here, resistors are connected in parallel, where R one, R two, up to R n are connected in parallel combination. Here, in parallel combination, always remember. the current will get divided and voltage will remain same so across all these resistor voltage will remain same and current will get divided as you can see here current is divided as i1 i2 and so on up to in for this parallel combination of resistor we can replace it with a single resistor which is known as r equivalent so equivalent resistor for all this parallel combination we can write a formula as 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus and so on up to 1 by rn if we solve this equation we will get a equivalent resistor that is a single resistor in place of all these parallel combination of resistors here current get divided as i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus and so on up to i n and voltage across all these resistor will remain the same if we consider the inductor which are connected in parallel as l1 l2 and so on up to ln here also the current will get divided but voltage will remain the same here equivalent inductor can be written as 1 by l equivalent is equal to 1 by l1 plus 1 by l2 plus and so on up to 1 by ln again in this combination current will get divided and voltage will remain same if we consider capacitor that are connected in parallel as c1 c2 and so on up to cn we can write the equivalence capacitance has c equivalent is equal to c1 plus c2 plus and so on up to cn again in parallel combination of capacitor current get divided and voltage will remain same so in parallel combination we can say the current get divided and the voltage remain same now let us understand series combination and first let us consider the resistor here resistor are connected in series like r1 r2 and so on up to rn in series combination you need to always remember current will remain same but voltage will get divided so voltage across this circuit element will get divided as you can see in this figure now equivalent resistor we can write it as r equivalent that can be given as r1 plus r2 plus and so on up to rn here voltage v will get divided as v1 plus v2 plus and so on up to vn if we consider inductor that are connected in series like l1 l2 and so on up to ln the equivalent inductor we can write it as l equivalent is equal to l1 plus l2 plus and so on up to ln again in this combination the voltage will get divided if we consider capacitor that are connected in series like c1 c2 and so on up to cn the equivalent capacitor we can write it as 1 by c equivalent that can be given as 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus and so on up to 1 by cn again in this combination the voltage get divided so finally we can say in series combination the voltage get divided and the current remains same now let us take an example of series and parallel combination of element here 
we need to find the equivalent resistance between the points A and B. For this, let us use the knowledge of the series and parallel combination of resistor. As you can see here, the resistors are connected in parallel as well as in series. We need to simplify this and we need to solve the problem. In the given problem, these three are in parallel. So we can use R equivalent resistance formula. We can replace it by a single resistor which is R equivalent. So we can write 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So this we can write it as 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. So 1 by R equivalent is equal to 10 by 12. So from this we can write R equivalent is equal to 12 by 10. So R equivalent will be equal to 1.2 ohm. So here we got R equivalent as 1.2 ohm. So which we got by solving these three resistors. Now this equivalent resistor is in series with this 2 ohm resistor. So series combination we know we need to add these two resistors so it will be 2 plus 1.2 that is equal to 3.2 ohm now these two resistors are in series so we can replace these two resistor with a single equivalent resistor that will be 5 plus 6 ohms so it will be 11 ohms so we can rewrite the circuit in the first branch we got 3 ohm in the second branch we got 11 ohm and in the third branch we got 7 ohm these three are in parallel which is connected in series with 1 ohm so we got 3.2 ohm then 11 ohm then 7 ohm these three are in parallel which is in series with 1 ohm so between A and B. Now for these three resistor, let us use the parallel resistor formula to get R dash equivalent. So to find R dash equivalent, we can write the formula 1 by R dash equivalent is equal to 1 by 3.2 ohm plus 1 by 11 ohm plus 1 by 7 ohm. So if we solve this equation, we will get R dash equivalent is equal to 1.8304 ohm. So we have replaced these three parallel combination of resistor with a single resistor which is having the value 1.8304 ohm. So this resistor is in series with this 1 ohm resistor. So if we connect that in series 1 ohm so we need to add these two resistors to get the equivalent resistor between the points A and B so finally we can write resistor between the point A and B is equal to 1 ohm plus 1.8304 ohm therefore we can say RAB is equal to 2.8304 ohm this is the equivalent resistor between a and b hope you have understood this topic thank you